We're talking about the FIA's internal inquiry into everything that happened in Abu Dhabi last year and plenty of changes coming up for the sport going into 2022 and not just, of course, those aerodynamic regulation changes, but we're looking at the sprint races and, of course, what happens in a wet weather washout like in Belgium last year. Plenty to get into here then at GP Fans. I'm Ollie Wilson bringing you the news. As always, remember to hit the subscribe button down below to stay up to date with all of the content that we produce here at the channel. GP Fans. Fans Global on Twitter and Instagram as well for all of your updates there. But now, let's get into the headlines. The findings of the FIA's inquiry into the end of last season's Abu Dhabi Grand Prix have been presented to the F1 Commission and a number of changes are to be made to the upcoming season. While Michael Massey's role as race director for next year still hangs very much in the balance after the controversial ending to last year's final race of the season, the findings of the FIA's internal inquiry have been presented to the F1 Commission and it seems likely that the race director, whomever it will be for this coming year, will be supported by a number of structural changes to the sport as they look to spread the duties of the current role to multiple people. A joint F1-FIA statement read, The FIA President Mohammed Ben Salayam led detailed discussions of the 2021 FIA Formula One Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Feedback from the Commission on matters raised will be incorporated into the President's analysis and he will publicly present news of structural changes and action plan in the coming days. Other changes to the upcoming season come in the form of the sprint races, with the number of races set for 2021 to remain at three, as opposed to the proposed six that was expected. Ferrari, Red Bull and Mercedes wanted to see an increase in the budget cap in order to accommodate the initially suggested six sprint races, an idea that seven other teams on the grid were against, along with F1 and the FIA. So instead, with no budget increase, there will be just three of the sessions again this year, taking place at Imola, Austria and Brazil. In a change to the format, the top eight will score points instead of just the top three, with the winner taking eight points for a victory. Fastest in Friday's qualifying session will be given the accolade of pole position in the F1 record books rather than the winner of Saturday's race, but Saturday will determine the order of the grid for Sunday. Following a review of the three sprint events that took place in 2021 and a recognition by all that the format created positive benefits for the sport, three sprint events were proposed for 2022, acknowledging this as a sensible number in light of the pressures already on the teams for this season with the introduction of major changes to the regulations, read a joint statement from the FIA and F1. The Commission unanimously approved the three sprint events for the coming season, incorporating a number of updates to the format based on the feedback of fans, media and the teams. And finally, the F1 Commission has revealed that after the horror show in Spa last year, that no points will be awarded for a Grand Prix unless a minimum of two laps have been completed by the leader without the safety car and or virtual safety car's intervention. This comes after wet weather in Belgium last year, of course, forced a three-hour rain delay, followed by three laps behind the safety car in order for a result to be declared on the day. This year, after the completion of two laps without the safety car, but if fewer than 25% of the distance has been raced, the winner will score six points, the runner-up with four, with the points running down to fifth place, receiving just one. If 25% of the race is run, but less than 50% of the distance is completed, then the scoring will be as follows. First will get 13 points, second 10 points, third 8 points, fourth 6 points, fifth 5 points, sixth 4 points, seventh 3 points, eighth 2 points and ninth 1 point. If over 50% of the race is run but less than 75% of it is completed, the point scoring will be first gets 19 points, second 14 points, third 12 points, fourth 9 points, fifth 8 points, sixth 6 points, all the way down to 10th getting 1 point. The changes will have to be approved by the World Motorsport Council before being in effect, but it seems like this will naturally just be a formality rather than anything else. 
So it looks like the F1 Commission, the FIA and Formula One in general is looking to take positive steps forward after everything that happened in Abu Dhabi and Belgium last year. What do you make of just three sprint races for coming up this season? Let us know in the comments section below. And will Michael Massey be the race director, albeit in a slightly more supported role when we get to that first race of the season in March? As I say, let us know in the comments section below. Hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with everything we do here at GP Fans and get on to gpfans.com for all of your breaking F1 news.